Y'all hey, it's your girl A, and today's video, of course, you guys already know, is a Shein haul. Shein anniversary haul. From the 25th of September to October 9th, they will be having a huge sale on their website. Over 150,000 items are marked down for sale. So y'all already know, I got addicted to Shein real quick. I did go ahead and purchase a ponytail from Shein. This one is the human hair ponytail. It's like a wavy pattern. I did get it in 12 inches because I wanted something that was like an average length. Super affordable. I think it was probably like $20 or under. But I'll definitely link everything down below in the description box. All the that I got. Plus, I'm gonna just show you guys right here on the screen what was on sale. So make sure you open the screen fully so not cut off. It's 100% human hair ponytail. And I have explained before, I really do prefer the wrap ponytails. They're a lot more comfortable. They look a little bit more realistic versus the drawstring ones. And this is the second or third ponytail I purchased from Shein, but they get a 12 inch. And Shein has a lot of different ponytails to choose from. So this one is 100% human hair, and it's like a wavy pattern. This is the wrap on it. It looks fresh, brand new. And this is why I like these ponytails a lot. And then it also has like the Velcro on the side. I'm not really sure what this extra piece, this is probably for it to protect it from it snagging onto anything, which is great. Then there's a comb on the inside, and it just wraps around your head. And this is a wavy pattern one. So I already got my ponytail ready to go. We're gonna wrap this on. I didn't even bring a bobby pin, but hopefully it'll stay here. And I have my ponytail already done. I also put, I also like to put a um, ponytail holder like a scrunchie so that way it kind of serves as a cushion for the comb because if you wear these like long enough they start to I know I don't like the feeling of the comb so I like to have like a little bit of cushion just to keep the comb from basically uh, digging in my scalp so because it's new, it's a little stiff. So my suggestion, definitely wash it before you wear it. So that way you can get the stiffness out of the actual, clo actual closure piece. These are just, to me, they look like closures, four by four closures with the Velcro sewn onto them. I just didn't want it too long. Something that's short like this is perfect for just like an everyday wear. So that's what I had to show you guys first. So let's get into the rest of this stuff in no particular order. So in case y'all don't know, the actual lashes that I have on are also from Shein. Loving these, they are clear band, semi-dramatic, 10 in a pack, super affordable, human hair, earrings. I bought these probably last year or a year and a half ago from Shein as well. They haven't turned yet and I wear these more often than I do my other earrings. So this is the strapless bralette, strapless bralette. And it does have like, it does have the actual closing in the back, but then it also has something that'll wrap around you in the front. So I guess it'll give you a little bit more security and it'll probably hold you up a little bit, but there is no boning in this particular top. And it also comes with the clear uh, bra straps if you choose to wear them. I'm also gonna be showing you guys some of their PJs. By the Lovelet brand, I'm gonna be showing you some of their pajamas as well in this. Loungewear, what have I don't really sleep in too many pairs of pajamas because it gets super hot, but I do like loungewear, housewear when I'm not leaving the house. Not I can be comfortable too, bro. You have some clothing items. These items were actually not on a flash sale, but they were on their everyday sale. Love like uh bra. This one is really cute too. This is like a gray color. It does have padding inside. There's boning on the sides, but no wire underneath. And it seems like it has like an extra space in here. This is probably really great for sporting, like sportswear bra. So you can have the extra um absorb absorbness and it also does come with pads in it. So I will show you guys how that looks on when it's time for trying. Y'all know I got me some new sunglasses, which I was really excited about. So I didn't really get a lot of, well, I'm probably lying. Okay, so first things first, I did need one of these purse organizers. Um, For my Gucci purse, there isn't any slots, any pockets. It's just an open purse. It's like tote bag purse. There's no way for organization. So sometimes I will carry my fanny pack just to put in the purse so that way I can find things easier. So I've seen this on Shein and I believe I paid a little bit over $2 for it. There's a different colors. This was the one that was on flash sale, actually. It didn't really matter what color it was. I just needed one. It gives you extra compartments here and on this side you can place your phone your cosmetics what have also there's a huge compartment on the inside and then on the opposite side there's some more compartments and it also comes with a little handle so you can pull it in and out of your purse i thought this was really cool it has buttons and snaps and this will definitely fit in my bag so i only i think i only got like two pairs of sunglasses yeah i got two pairs of sunglasses this time around because i did have a lot of sunglasses i have purchased a lot of sunglasses over the past so these ones right here let's see what these look like okay i think these are like the really these are like the really really big ones and i thought these were so cute and I actually did mean to put these in my last order but I was half asleep when I made the order and forgot to recheck the box for these so I have been wanting these these are so effing cute girl look at that now these are definitely cute. I like the roundness of them. I like the tints. I like the way the frames are made. They fit very comfortable and that's the plus. They're not too big. I don't feel them sliding off, but they really don't take too much away from the face. Plus girl, I got a really purse that I'm gonna be putting on in this haul. So these glasses will definitely match well with it. Now the one thing, they did not come with any type of case. They just came in the box right here. These were made really well, really cute. I love the tints of these. These were really affordable. You know what's so funny? When I looked at these, I, I honestly, okay, so you know what? I knew it. So when I looked at these, I'm like, oh, I forgot to put these in my cart 
as well. Meanwhile, I did, but I had them in a darker lens. So same identical glasses that I showed you guys last week, but in a different tint of color, which I think this tint I like a lot more. Sometimes I don't like my, you know, my shades to be too dark. It gives you like this totally different look. And see, I like this tint of brown for any of my sunglasses. Unless I'm trying to really be like incognito and not look at you, then I definitely would go for something darker. But I like the tint in these a lot more than I do this particular pair. Now these are not bad at all. These are comfortable. These are cute. They're the same pair except for the lenses are darker. And see what I'm saying? Totally different look. It gives you a totally different look. Now they're both really nice. They're both really classy glasses. But when I like something, I do like the tint to be a little bit lighter. And at least I have the option now of, you know, changing it up. But for me, I think the pair that I just got was definitely my favorite one out of the two. Not out of all my glasses, but out of the two. I do like these. I do get more light in. And I just have like this totally different look with these. Girl, I used to hate like round glasses. Like seriously, I used to hate round glasses. These are oversized. So I think that's one reason why I'm really digging these round glasses. These did come in one cute little case. I did get some hair clips for my granddaughter. It's fun when you have a granddaughter. You know, you can do cool little things with them. They can have cool little styles. Plus the daycare that she goes to, they do her hair so cute there. So we also buy barrettes to leave at the daycare so the, the teachers can do their hair. But these are just like, you know, little flower clips. Nothing like special. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen them already. So I'm trying some earrings real quick. So these are butterfly hoops. Really cute, you know, that's just the butterfly cut out. Cut out and they're not too, um, they're not too big. These are really cute and they made well. I do think the teeth are a little tight, so you're gonna have to like kind of like wiggle through that. And I also got these, which is super cute. I think these are really nice earrings right here. They look like uh, leaves on vines. I love me a good hoop earring, girl. You know, I think like the hoop earrings take away from my long head. I got a long head, so yeah. I like to wear like earrings that's gonna work for me. Now these look like branches right here. They're really cute. And I'll definitely link them below. Now these are cute. It also has like these little faux pearls right here on the bottoms where the flowers are. These are cute. So the two faux pearls got um, some vines going around the area. These are really cute. And it was very inexpensive. If you're worried about them changing or tarnishing with the color of the gold, my suggestion would be to get yourself a clear can of acrylic spray paint and just spray these on, spray that on the earrings so that way, or any jewelry that you buy from machine so that way the color lasts a lot longer. I say this because some people do like to use clear nail polish. There's nothing wrong with using clear nail polish at all. I've done that. Well, as I now only use clear acrylic spray paint because for one, I'm about to see there all day long painting something over and over again with some tiny brush so just to get myself a clear can of acrylic spray paint and spray it on one side let that dry and then flip it over and spray it on the other side it's a lot easier versus holding it by your hand and painting it with a clear coat of nail polish now you can do that if you want still but i'm just telling you what i do. I thought these earcups were so cute just, um i'm not really sure what it reminds me of i'm not sure but i thought it was so cute it looks it reminds me for some reason of the statue of liberty i don't know why but you know it's supposed to kind of like be behind your ear and then you have the cuff right Right here. Am I doing this right? How does that look? Like, oh, is my ears big or what have you? I'm not really sure. I guess if it's each person differently depending on the size of your ear. I'm starting to feel like my head is big, my ears are big. Like, what's really good? What's going on? But it's still cute. I think I paid like a dollar and some change for it. I don't know, but we're gonna figure it out because I think it's cute and I will be wearing it. I did get some more of these clip-on nose earrings because I'm not about to be clipping no earrings or getting no type of piercings in my nose. I have issues with the way my skin heals. So this is a two for one. And one was a bunny rabbit head and one a heart, a tiny little heart. Cute, right? This is really, really cute, this look. Cause sometimes I change my mind about a lot of, okay? So I don't wanna go to nobody's ear piercing and then like it one day, wake up the next morning and it's a keyboard then I got to remove it. So I'ma just take it like that and put these clip on on. But I refuse to have any more type of scars on my body. But this will definitely serve the purpose of when I wanna look cute without getting hurt, okay? Now on this one right here, look, you can put one, you can put two in one nostril, you can put one in each or you can wear them by themselves. You be the choice and you be the judge of how you gonna rock. Now, I don't know if I would really want to wear one on each side. It, You know, I guess it depends on the courage I got for that day. I really don't like to bring too much attention to myself, but I think one will suffice me just well. Now, depending on what side would I want to wear on it, I'm not really sure, but I will tell you this because I've gotten these uh, little nose clip-ons before. You will feel like you have to scratch your nose every few minutes, okay? So just be patient, girl, because you definitely have to get used to it. And I think it has a lot to do with the underpiece. But girl, listen, I had that so fed up, I had to take them off one day. But you know, I'm always here to keep trying you know i love good drive i like to drive but i think i'm gonna keep on this one right here because i'm feeling rather cute cut you okay on a budget with she in now we got some other hoop earrings like i'm a hoop earring type of girl i told y'all i love a good hoop earring i thought these was really beautiful and listen let me tell y'all something Y'all don't have to judge me because I'm not about to judge you. You can believe in what you want to believe in. Your faith could be whatever it is. But I have a real strong faith right now. And I have a lot of faith in a lot of things. And I pray and I talk to God on a daily basis, okay? Because he is my father and savior. And if it wasn't for him, I don't know where I would be in life. All right, with a lot of things. And he's been there for me, okay? Even when my faith was not that great. So when I seen these cross earrings that 
was in the group and I felt like these were calling for me. These was in the need and I wanted them. And as well as that, my shirt does say super blessed baby. So I'm just saying, okay, yes, I feel super blessed. And I hope that there are a lot of guys out there watching this that feel just as well super blessed. Now, the only thing about these earrings is the pullback on them. I'm hoping that they don't be cheesy and break because sometimes she and thing could be a little bit fragile, you know, and I'm not really up for the fragile, but we're going to see because I was really looking forward to these right here. Oh, these are, look at that. These are really nice and these are really classy, okay? It just depends on the mood you're in and how you feel. But I really do like earrings right here. These were screaming for me and these were just definitely said, April, get yourself up here, okay? And they were super affordable too. Though. Now they do come in a variety of colors as most of Shein's things do. Some things are on sale, certain colors are on sale, certain colors are on flash sale. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like that particular color, then purchase the item that's at full price, it's up to you. I try to like everything on a good sale, okay? Now another pair of earrings I thought these was really cute. These are like hoop earrings too, but with a different type of style and twist. You know, I like to change it up sometimes. Sometimes I do like to change it up, okay? You know what I'm saying? That's why I've been rocking some ponytails instead of wigs, y'all. I need my scalp and my forehead to breathe. It'd be hot as the dickens out here. And I ain't really trying to die on nobody's concrete under nobody's now. I'm watching Arizona Heat trying to look cute with a wig. So I figure a ponytail will look just as cute. You know, you got to pull it together and put yourself together and you good to go. Now, I don't know about this one right now because, you know, it's fresh out the pack. And I feel like it's kind of stiff, but look, we'll get it there. Now, these is really, really cute. Look at these. Aren't these cute? I've seen these. These do also come in silver as well. I just think like gold looks so nice with my complexion is like I'm just saying. Look at that. These are cute. These are real classy look and just different. These are totally different. So you know what I'm saying? Like girl look. Okay, she ain't be having all my points. Now you know a girl do like to get a little classy from now and now and wear other earrings that ain't too big and just some little small studs or what have you. And these were super cute on the website. I think I got at time of checkout they give you like little specials. You can use like a point or you can get it for cheaper price because you spent so much. So I thought these was really, really cute. You know, these are just for my elegant days or when I feel like like you know, like I don't want anything too big because I do have those moments too. And I thought these was really cute. My favorite color, really cute. Look at that. Uh, the reason why I like to wear long earrings or big earrings because like I said, I have a long head, so I've been trying to take away from the longevity of my head, honey. But I will wear some small stud earrings or even some really big stud earrings, which I love. That'd be me at times. These are really classy. These are classy, girl. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna wear these to, but I might have another concert to go to and look really, really hella cute. So these right here, I thought were really, really cute. Y'all see those faux diamonds? These are really cute. Now they did also come in silver, but I just felt like the gold looks so good. Again, the faux crystals, you know? Look at those. Those are really, really cute. I like, now these you can wear on a daily. Classy, dress it up, dress it down. But these still are really acceptable. These are really cute. They're affordable. Everything on Shein is affordable, girl, okay? If it's $25 today, that thing could be like $10 the next day. But constantly keep checking on that website and losing your mind and your money because every time you turn around, they got something nice going on. And I can only imagine what the sale is going to be like from the 25th of September to the 9th of October with over 150,000 items already marked down. Girl, listen, I'm you know I'm about to get on on there, okay? Let me put some stuff in my cart just in case. Is there a full set for that? There's like a whole category for that because the girl will be there. Yes, indeed. I will be. Now, y'all know if they got a sale going, please be patient with the shipping because let me tell y'all, when it's something big like this, it's going to take a time, a couple days extra just to do processing. So, be patient. Listen, I will wait for the sale. So, let's see how that turns out and what it's going to be like. She and Anniversary, you know, they doing it big. She and Anniversary. Everybody loves She and. Everybody knows the She and. Now, these right here, these are so effing dope. I thought these were so dope. These are like flowers. Do y'all see that? They're like flowers. I love these. When I see them, I said, oh my God, I have to have them. I'm not really sure where I'm going or what I'm going to do or where I'm going to wear them to. But there will come a time in the day when I get to wear these and let me buy them now before they all sold out. Y'all cannot tell me that these is not for you. Do y'all see that? These is for you, baby. Look like it's your day, baby. These are for you. And they're not heavy. They may look like it, but they're not heavy at all. I like the size of them. I like these. Girl. This is really, really cute. And then the last pair of earrings are these, which has like this weird, this kind of reminds me like a teardrop shape, but then it's not really a teardrop shape. It reminds me of like a triangle shape and it is really not a triangle shape. But this earring reminds me of too many different things. It's these, they look like this, they're really cute. They look like this, you can put them on, these are simple. I think these are the ones that are universal because you can wear them on a hoodie day, you on a I'm just going to the office day and then you can put on your evening gown or dress up girl and put them on too because they're just like, to me, these are universal 
earrings. Very universal. They're not too thick. They're just right. And these, I think, you can make these look classy if you choose to. Or you can make these look sassy if you want to. Or you can make these look, you know, coochified if you want to. Either way, I think these are really nice. And they remind me of, like, another pair of earrings that I have. But I kind of, like, broke them. And I don't even know why I'm saving them. But let me tell y'all. You got to be careful with these little pullbacks. I know this machine on these little earrings. Now, this, to me, right here is a handy-dandy tool. And I think, like, everybody needs one of these. Man, woman, child, dog, cat, you know. Okay? I think these are really cool to have. All around screwdriver that you put on your keys. Okay, when I seen this, first of all, when I first seen it, it was sold out, okay? It was in my cart. My cart was probably like two days old. When I say my cart was two days old, yeah, there was probably like 40, 40 items in there, but it didn't mount too much, okay? Because y'all know me, I shop on a budget. I had this in there, it was like 60, 70 cents. So, you know, a girl trying to go check out, and why did this thing just become sold out? Why is everybody always looking at something that I like? But each one of these little pegs is like an alley key or a screw. You know what I'm saying? And I think this thing come in handy. I hope it do. Because if it don't, I'm going to just have to poke somebody with it. Like, you know, I'm going to have to use this as a weapon or whatever. If Look, it's going to come in handy some type of way. Either it's going to come in handy as an alley key and when I need to fix something. Or it's going to come in handy when I got to protect myself. Because I will poke somebody's eye out with this if I choose to. But you can hear that from me. Okay? I also have these two purses. I'm also going to be showcasing. So I'm going to just hook them up with my outfit. And I'm going to be showcasing them. I do have some new shit wear that I did want to try out too. And what better time to do it is when I'm trying on some outfits, you know what I'm saying? Because girl, it's a better time to do it. But before I get into trying on some clothes, prior to this video, I already went ahead and showered because I'm going to be trying on some new items and new clothes. And I wanted to make sure that I smell divine and great like I always do. But for this time around, I'm using some new perfume that I did get from Dossier for replicas of scents, okay? I have worked with them prior before. My favorite perfume of all times is Jador. Absolutely love that perfume. This one is called Fruity Jasmine and it's supposed to be a replica of Jador. When I had a husband, he would buy me that as a gift all the time because that was one of my favorites. Very chic, simple looking, you know, minimalist type of bottles. Nice little sturdy box that comes in and also gives you one of their stock cards that'll tell you what this perfume is inspired by, so, which is by Dior. But that it smells identical to it. Okay, so, this smells good. This do smell really, really good. This smells so good, okay? Ooh, this does resemble Jador like 99.9%. I'm not gonna say 100 because Jador is Jador and this is Fruity Jasmine. This smells really, really good. This does have a very inspired scent to it. And if you don't like the smell of your perfume, you can definitely exchange it or return it. All you have to do is go to the return page on their website and enter your information in and your details. I think with Fruity Jasmine, you're definitely not going to want to change or exchange it because this smells really, really good. Now we're gonna go on to one that I already have in my own perfume stack which is Versace Bright and the reason why I wanted to try that one is I wanted to have something that was already on hand and I could compare it to but this is called Fruity Magnolia which is inspired by Versace Bright now Versace's Bright is one of my favorites Bright Crystal is one of my favorites I have it in my stack this is Versace's Bright Crystals this was sent to me as a gift from one of my subscribers let me tell y'all something this is an amazing scent to it and all this stuff smells so effing good okay so I I wanted to see if it's very comparable, if it gives you the same scent as an original. So let's just give it a try. So first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray Versace's Bright um, Crystals. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and spray Fruity Magnolia inspired by Versace's Bright Crystal. I know what I am smelling. My daughter Tati is cooking chicken downstairs and I'm smelling it up here. And when I tell y'all, I really feel like stopping this video and going to get something to eat. I feel like stopping this video and, and going to get something to eat. Now that's what I'm smelling real good and strong. Like, ooh, calling my nostrils, calling me, telling me to come on downstairs. But you know, we're gonna finish this video. I'm gonna be honest. They are so damn close in, in, in scent. They, they are really, they are very, very close in scent. Now, I say very, very close is they smell very similar, but the original, the, the authentic one, has a little stronger scent. It feels like it's, it's, it has, I don't really know how to explain it, but it has a thicker scent versus this smells like the, um, the Fruity Magnolia smells like the toilet version. You know how some perfumes have perfume and then the toilet, the toilet is like not as, as intense as the perfume, but they smell the same. So that's the way I could put it. Like this smells more intense versus the Fruity Magnolia, but they smell identical but it's just that this one is like more intense you can smell it more intense and this one is a little bit lighter but
but they are on the same spectrum. I'll definitely link everything down below for them too. Let's get into this try on, you guys. Let's make it do what it do. Okay, guys, we're going to start this try off on with one of my newest body shapers, which is from SheCurve.com. This is their postpartum body shaper. It is supposed to be like a faja. It gives you a flattened tummy and it also will lift up your backside. There is a zipper. Along with that, there are also some hooks. So we're going to try this on. It does go underneath your breast, so it also probably will raise your breast as well. The size that I have it in is a 2XL. It also does have a removable strap, so you can remove that if you choose to wear it as a strapless. I'm not really sure how it's going to hold up. Let's go ahead and put this on real quick and we're going to try on the clothes. 